Hey, what's up, you guys? Real quick here. So, uh, yeah, I've been gone for about two weeks, but I'm coming back with this video here, which I recorded way back in, like, 2019, and I just never got it out. But I always wanted to get it out because, well, it was an interesting video. It's a Hadaka Shitsuji video. Apologies for that. I'm going to go ahead and buy a new Yaoi game very, very soon, and I'm going to go ahead and play that for the channel. So, until then, please enjoy this Ichino's Root. Uh, I also throw shade at some fan at Phantom here, but, like, you know, that was ages ago, man. F Phantom and I are cool, you know? So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the video. Let's go. <laughs> here we... Here we fucking are. Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Kiyotsubaka. Welcome back after a long little bit of a break. Now, I want... I I'm doing this, and it's because I want Phantom to kind of hate me right now. I'm just kidding, by the way. That's not the reason I'm doing this. Welcome to Ichi Nails is Rude, everybody. Let's get into this. <laughs> So hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Alright, that was just a pause. I don't know why I said that. But um, yeah, so I'm not gonna lie to you. I played a little bit of Sakuma's route. Also a little bit of Kameen's route. And uh... They're not as horrible as Arizado's, I guess. Uh, Sakuma's is fucking easy as hell, man. Nothing's wrong with Sakuma's, really, except you... You know, I'm not gonna spoil anything. This is Ichi knows this about anyway, so I'm gonna talk about these things. So, as I'm looking at this walkthrough here, um, it seems as if some things have apparently been removed within the Steam version, which is the version I'm playing, by the way. And um, so, we don't really know what's gonna go on here. Um, and I'm pretty sure the same thing goes for other places, uh, in the game, probably. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. Ichi knows his route. Now, I'm not going to bet on it. I'm not going to bet on it that something that triggers Phantom happens in this route. And the reason I'm not going to bet on that... Or, well, Phantom actually said to himself, he said himself, he was just like, Um, yeah, man, they, they change a little bit of things. They, they change a little sad bit of things. But, um, yeah, let's continue on to this route. The path to the back garden was a nice course for a stroll. Damn fucking right it was. The beautiful flowers in the garden were in full bloom. I had thought the grass-filled flower beds were strange at first, but I'd learned they were just herbs. All of the plants were bathed in sunlight. They all looked elegant and healthy and seemed totally different from the greenhouse-raised plants. Yes, because Ichinos takes care of them and Ichinos is a... He's a something. The daily maintenance must be incredibly demanding. So why is Ichinos so wimpy? In this sunlight, his personality might as well be a shadow. But I figured I should make an effort to talk to him since he was the closest to me in age. Really, is he? How old am my character? I think I'm 22. Does that mean Ichinos is 22? Maybe he's 21. I don't know, man. I wonder if Ichinos is here. Dot, dot, dot. He is. Damn fucking right he is. He was in a corner of the garden working hunched over a patch of bare yellow looking soil. Wow. Ichinose. He's fucking lame. Ichinose. Alright, so. Here's how it goes. I'll keep the, I'll keep the, I'll keep the voice audio until, until, until it gets a little bit spicy, you know what I'm saying, man? Oh, what you doing? Or, I, I'm not even gonna try it. Master scared Ichinos. Oh, Ichinos, you're so adorable. I feel bad going down your route. God knows what's gonna happen. <laughs> Newsflash, come on. When I looked down, I could see that a square ditch had been dug around the perimeter. I guess he's making a new addition to the garden. Cut a decimal. <laughs> I actually don't know what he said. Adding a new flower bed is what he said, apparently. He's not even talking to us. You're not really talking to him, no, are you, Ichinos? Without saying a word, he leaned over again and started forming the ditch with a pointy shovel. He's just like me, very antisocial. Yeah. It seemed like he was ignoring me and more like he was hiding something. Hmm. What is he hiding? Actually, I think I may remember from Arizado's route what he is hiding. Ha ha ha, it's a little bit of a cliffhanger, ladies and gentlemen. It was obviously a flower bed, there wasn't really any point in hiding it. Gambatana, you sure working hard? And he's not enjoying the praise, unlike Arizado or Sakuma. Did Sakuma like the praise? I don't remember. Do you really not want to talk to me that badly? No, he's just antisocial. So like, I've got the right to fire butlers. You know that, right? Don't threaten him with firing him right now. What the fuck? You just started talking to him. Maybe that was kind of mean, but I thought I'd try brandishing my authority as early as possible. Why did you do that? I feel so bad for him. He doesn't even care. He's like, fire me then, bitch. <laughs> he's a fucking, he's an OP little bastard, isn't he? <laughs> 
Messi, to Messi. Oh my god, you sound adorable. I'm sorry, guys. He might be a little bit more adorable than Arizado. Jesus Christ. Was he worried or mad? I had no idea. He's emotionless, is what he is. Look at that face. Does that face look like he's sad? Does that face look like he has any emotion? Nah, man. It doesn't. <clears throat> I thought the smile of his face when we first met was evidence that he liked me, but now I was thinking it might have been an act. He doesn't like us very much. <laughs> We won't change that, you fucking thought. <laughs> oh, Phantom, he's cuter. <laughs> he's so much more cute than Arizado. Arizado is too annoying. This guy's so cute. Ichinos doesn't want to quit being a butler. That's all I could squeeze out of him. That said, it really seemed like he didn't want to answer whether it was a flower bed or a little chat had been utterly pointless. Uh, maybe it wasn't the flower bed that he was trying to hide, but something else. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I know something else he may be hiding over there. Again, I know more than you guys do. <clears throat> like, he might spill some secret if he opened his mouth. I had no idea what the secret might be, but if uh, Ichi knows how to dark side, maybe it was a good idea to keep my distance. I don't think Ichi knows how to dark side. Does this look like the type of boy, um, man, something that would have a dark side? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. The uh, flower garden sparkled in the sunlight, just like it did yesterday. Do you know any other words? Apparently not. I had a hard time believing there could be some sinister plot going on in the backyard. Background of this fairy tale scenery, I meant is what is... I knew it said that. I'm probably just overthinking things. No way, I can't relax just yet. I always heard the Italian mob sends their target gifts to get them to drop their guard. Suddenly, Toto was walking right in front of me. He was comfortably carrying bags of dirt on each shoulder. They must have been several dozen pounds each. I better be careful not to put him in a bad mood. What you doing, Toto? Toto set down the sacks and straightened himself out. I guess he's been trained to drop what he's doing in his master's presence. Master! Good morning! What Thanks, man. Good morning to you two. What are you up to? That's dirt, right? Yes, yes sir. We're putting in a new flower bed. Thank you for telling me. Ichinos didn't tell me that yesterday. Oh, of course. I didn't think Ichinos could have cleared the yard himself, so Toto helped him. Now it makes sense. Let me guess. Those blocks stacked up over there are all for the flower bed, too? Probably. Why is that a stupid question? Because it is. Yes, sir, I'm excited. It's almost like playing in a sandbox. Wow, Toto. How old are you again? Jesus. I'm ready to bully this bitch when I do his root last, because no one likes him. Let's <laughs> calm down a little bit, guys. Calm down a little bit. If you like Toto, don't attack me, alright? Don't, don't, don't do it. I guess heavy lifting is basically child's play to Toto, oh, there, pretty much. All of these, huh? Let me lend you a hand, huh? Absolutely not. Leave this sort of work to me. You'll get your clothes dirty, master. I just wanted to make myself look like a nice guy for my own protection. Why, do you think that Ichinos is really gonna kill you? Ichinos isn't gonna harm you, man. Look at him. You can just grab him on the neck or some shit, man. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that bastard. They're way heavier than I thought, and I break my fucking back and collapse. Yeah, man. Fall right on those spikes there. Hell yeah. Well, those aren't spikes, but... You know what? Shut up. I'm trying to add commentary. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, quite a few decorative cinder blocks had already been lit fitted together to form the border of the flower bed. The reddish brown bricks were much heavier than I'd imagined. It wasn't like I wouldn't carry any of them, but doing more than one at a time would have been physically impossible for me. Doesn't look like I'm going to be very helpful here. It's not my fault. I'm getting a liberal arts degree. Uh, Master, you might get hurt if you drop one. I'm really glad you care, but I wish you'd put that down. He's, 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 gonna, he's gonna get hurt even if he's lifting it. Our character is clearly weak as fuck until he turns absolutely fucked. <laughs> yeah, I give up. I dropped the block. That was dangerous. Why was it dangerous? Did I drop it on each nose? Sorry for getting in your way. Yeah. No, sir, I really appreciate it. I'm glad you're such a nice person, Master, but you really don't need to do this sort of thing. I couldn't really get a read of on him for the combination of verbal thanks and that look on his face. Is he actually mad at me? Well, do you mind if I watch then? I'm curious about how you built it. I'd be honored. Having my master watch me as I work is more than a humble butler like me deserves. He sure blows everything out of proportion. He's almost closer to a soldier than a jock. I started to get the feeling that there wasn't much beyond the surface with him. Toto casually piled the components of the flower bed on his shoulders with such ease that it almost seemed like they'd been swapped with another material. You know what? Fuck you, Toto, you little show-off. I don't give a fuck. I followed him to the site of the new flower bed. 
and Ichinos was there too. He really did have a pretty face. I almost thought he was a woman for a moment. The plot of land next to where Ichinos was squatting had its yellow soil explodes with a rectangular trench dug into it. Ichinose. Ichinos, Ichinose. Ichinos, the master's here to watch us work. Goshijin-sama. Goshijin-sama, or whatever. Master! Ichinos was holding a hammer and struck the ground with it once, even while he was looking at me. It was kind of scary the way he did it, with a completely blank expression on his face. Sorry, but I'm, in the, I'm in the way, aren't I? No, not at all. Ichinos didn't mean anything by that. Yeah, he did. He, he wants to fucking bash my skull in with a fucking hammer. I, it wouldn't. I wouldn't blame him with what happened with uh, Arizado's root man. <laughs> if Ichino saw that shit, man, man, he would fucking slaughter us. Yeah, we'll say that. Ichino struck the empty ground with the hammer no, again. What are you doing? Practice. Practice. <laughs> That's... Practice for what? Yeah, I was gonna say. We're going to line up the blocks. I'm carrying over in the ditch to build the walls of the flower bed. At which point we need to compact the ground around it like this. So each knows it's too, too early for that if we don't level it first. Each knows got ahead of himself. If Toto wasn't translating, this wouldn't be much of a conversation at all. No, it probably wouldn't. So, um, is there anything I can help you with? It looks like it might be kind of fun. Really? And Ichino stuck the gown even harder than before, sending dirt flying. <laughs> Calm down, Ichinos! Alright, man, we get it. You're angry. You saw the video of the Arizado route. You know what we did. But, like, come on, man. You don't need to kill us. Come on, dog. Please don't. Master, you don't have to watch. This isn't work. It's just Ichinos' hobby. Please go back inside. Ichinos, don't watch your mouth. You're being rude to our master. You can go too, Toto. Can do it alone. That's something. The atmosphere turned eerie as the number of words coming out of each nose's mouth abruptly increased. It increased. It increased. It looked like a decrease. He didn't even speak properly back then. Like he said, can do myself. Man. Guys, there's something wrong with this guy. But he's adorable and I like it. <laughs> I guess the master shouldn't be interfering with his butler's work. Or does each nose just really dislike me? Well, you know what? We can change that. Come like, le like day 11. <laughs> <laughs> I know stuff. He didn't open his mouth again after that and kept working in silence. He stuck wooden dowels into the ground and twisted cord around them. Every so often, he, he, he'd hit the ground with the hammer, almost like he was telling me to go away. Listen here, each nose. You keep telling me to go away, I want to punch you right in your nose. That was, that was, that was, a, that was a funny one, right, guys? <laughs> Fuck. Um, master, I'm uh, really sorry. Yeah. No, I'm the one who should apologize. I'm the one who was acting like I own the place, trying to force guys to let me help, even though I was just getting in the way. We weren't getting in the way. Not at all. I'd be happy to do something with you, master. And you're not acting like you own the place, master. You do own it, exactly. <laughs> I get the feeling that he, Ichinos, doesn't like me. Oh, of course not. He just couldn't stand the thought of his master getting his hands dirty. I mean, Ichinos is so happy that you're here, master. He really is a good person. Only good people love flowers, after all. So you say. Well, he looked at me straight in the eye and said that. From the outside, all I could see was his threateningly superhuman strength. But maybe he was really a gentle person. Your personality doesn't really match your looks. Me? What are you talking about? Well, you don't look like the kind of person who'd say that sort of thing about people who love flowers. I'm kind of relieved. Oh, I, I did scare you, didn't I? What? So you aren't completely oblivious to it? Well, yeah, to be honest, you did scare me a little. I think you must have a lot of guts since you came straight here after seeing that flyer master, but I guess it's only normal to freak out uh, uh, a little when you suddenly told that you're a new master and ran into a guy that looks like me. <laughs> Definitely. You look like you could fucking deck me in the face any moment, man. Could it be that Toto is the most normal person in this mansion? I mean, you might not believe me, but I would never cause you any harm, master. Thank you, Toto. I appreciate that, bud. I love it. Would cause some other harm, though. <laughs> I'm sure he'd been through a lot of misunderstandings because of how he looks. It kind of reminds me of that one picture book about that ogre who just wanted friends but just got persecuted instead. Well, it's all right. I believe you. That's one way to say it, I guess. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're very much welcome, buddy. He's kind of hard to dislike, but Ichinos' attitude just doesn't make sense to me. Toto doesn't want to be conspiring with him, but he must have had a reason to want to keep me away from the flower bed. I wonder what he's planning to plant there. Oh, you mean in the flower bed? I help out a bit where I can, but I don't really know about the flowers. It looks like he bought seedlings instead of seeds, though. Hmm. 
Sweat oozed down my neck. My back, I mean. There's something creepy about Ichinose. He couldn't be bearing a body or something, right? He's not normal. He's not. He's, he's, he's bearing something. <laughs> I guess I should get back to work. Hey, are you going to back to the flower bed? Yes, sir. Ichinose can do it himself. Plus, I need to... Oh, can't do it himself. Plus, I need to warn him about talking to you like that, Master. If you'll excuse me. Thank you, Toto. You go tell that motherfucker that he better not talk to me like that ever fucking again. Oh, I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. The saddest is just coming out. <laughs> Bearing a body, I must be watching too much TV. But my gut was telling my gut was telling me that there was something dangerous about each of What is dangerous about him? Tell me. It doesn't seem that scary to me. I'm telling you that much. Sakuma, you're not important. I don't need you. There was definitely something weird about the estate. Honestly, I was kind of scared, but I had a long road ahead of me, and I wasn't really crazy about the idea of hiding with my tail between my legs for the duration. But he's gonna call him out and be like, Don't fucking kill me, you cunt! And I, was, like, I don't know what we're doing right now. The job I was given was to spend a month as the master, and if even one butler doesn't recognize my authority, I might not get my reward. That's what I was worried about. You were worried about that? Of course, the butler I was worried about was Ichinos. I wasn't about to just demand that he respect me or be nice nice to me. I had to figure out his personality at least so I could mount a counterattack. What if he's just like that, an antisocial character? Nah, no, that's not a possibility because I'm a secret sadist and I just want to abuse him. I saw Ishino's in the garden. I was about to call out to him as loudly as I could, but if he really does hate me, maybe I shouldn't surprise him. Oh, oh, hi, oh. Ichinos. And guess what? He doesn't reply to us. He was hunched over the herb garden and didn't even pause his work. I felt a bit desperate in the face of his obstinance. Slow and steady wins the race, right? I tried again. Ichinos? Ohio? <laughs> Master, sorry, didn't see you there. Sure you didn't. Ichinos finally stood up and... Okay, okay. Uh, go away, Discord. Stop, stop it. Alright, listen. <laughs> Ichinos finally stood up and turned towards me. It wasn't much, but I guess it was just a step in the right direction. He did it, He did manage to force out a master there, so maybe I do have a chance of closing the gap, or maybe it just means he doesn't care about my name. I looked him over as I searched for a subject of conversation. He was holding a spray bottle. What, what are you doing? doing? Is that full of water? Uh, huh? No, it's full of poly fucking weed killer. Ichinos looked around in a panic before noticing the bottle in his hand and then looked at me quizzically. Uh, yeah. Ah, I was wondering if you were using it to water the plants. This guy is really difficult to talk to. He is, but he's adorable in his own special way. Let me guess, Phantom. This root is actually fucked up, isn't it? This... It has... Whatever the fuck that is in it. So I have no idea. <laughs> You're in the same boat as me, Tomaki. What is it? Tell me. Soaked chili peppers and alcohol to make chili extract. It's a plant-friendly pesticide, safe for people to consume too. Increases appetite and improves circulation. Wow, you made it yourself. You really know your stuff, huh? Yeah, he, he does. I guess he did a good job keeping that completely neutral expression on his face. I couldn't tell if he was annoyed with me for talking with him. Well, at least he wasn't telling me to go away today. So, uh, do you mind talking to me a little more? I guess I can't just order you to, huh? He's like, no, I'm not gonna talk anymore. Herbs. I say the H silent, shoot me if you want. <laughs> oh, what's this? Eating us starting a conversation? The herbs themselves can be used as a pesticide for other plants. Two birds, one stone, but not mint. Mint is... Ichino spoke slowly like he had to squeeze out each word. Is talking to me really that unpleasant? No, it's just... Roses need rose pesticide. Handmade it too. Master, do you like bugs? Bugs? I guess I'd have to say I'm not a fan. Rhino beetles are pretty cool though. So, uh, are we not to me, but a saddest version? <laughs> Roaches and caterpillars. Ew. Don't like them. I like caterpillars. Oh, okay. We'll work hard to exterminate them. Uh, sure. I'm really not sure if this even counts as a conversation. I guess he really doesn't like talking to me, so he just sort of blows me off with random information. Um, I guess I'm bothering you. It's not the case. You see, that's not the case. I know this guy more than you, and I don't even know him. <laughs> For a second, it seemed almost like an unusually friendly response, but Ichinos immediately turned his back to me and crouched down again. Let's crouch down beside him. So, um, Ichinos. He's, <laughs> he's, he's getting annoyed now. We'll take a look at that face. Take, take a gander at that. He's getting annoyed now if he wasn't before, I tell you that much. <laughs> 
And I'd finally gotten him talking, too. I know, I bet he'll talk if it's about plants. Oh, well, that reminds me, you added a new flower bed, didn't you? What did you plant in it? And he's... <laughs> he looks unamused. He'd gotten somewhat used to each no spaced out way of talking. I was patient and waited for an answer, and he doesn't know what we're talking about. He's not gonna answer no matter how long I wait. I guess he really doesn't want to talk about that flower bed. I bet there's a body or something creepy buried in it. My crazy theories were starting to seem more sensible. Um, it sucks because I know what it is. <laughs> Uh, but this was almost too suspicious to be real. No, maybe that's what he wants me to think. Damn it, I just don't know. He's too deadpan to get anything out of him. Anyways, I guess I should just leave him in, out in peace. On my way back, I snuck a peek at the new flower bed. It was neatly encircled by bricks. Quite a nice looking flower bed. I guess if you're really that into gardening, it's not hard to produce something so professional looking. Looks like he planted seedlings instead of seeds. I could already see leaves developing on them. I wonder what kind of flowers they are. Herbs, I guess. Or medicinal plants. Or maybe poison. Huh. <laughs> There's no way. And we're just going to go ahead and go to each nose's room, but I'm going to save real quick. Alright, so let's go ahead and go into each nose's room now. Let's see what we're going to do there. Nothing. It's only the fourth day, guys. Calm down a little bit. I thought I'd drop by Ichinose's room. There were some parts of Ichinose I still didn't really understand. I wouldn't have been surprised if I'd find him cooking up some shady drugs or chanting spells over a magic circle or something. Hello? Ichinose. Ichinose, are you up? I knocked as hard as I could and called out softly. If he's asleep, I'll just leave. But what if I just woke him up? No, I'm the master. Acting a little arrogant makes you masterly, right? Probably. After a bit, the door opened and Ichinose invited me in. Bad idea. <laughs> I don't know. Do His room is very bland. It wasn't in his pajamas. I felt a bit relieved that I hadn't woken him up. Did you need something, Master? Each nose always looked sleepy, but he seemed especially sleepy now. Sorry, did I wake you? Wasn't sleeping. Was awake. You talk so weird, but I love it. Each nose his upper body swayed and he's wrung out of a response. He seemed to have a hard time focusing. He looks really fucking tired. Were you still working? No, each nose tries to stay up until Master goes to sleep. Because of me. No, you can go to sleep before me, you know. I'm gonna go to sleep soon anyways. Either way, such an unsteady butler isn't going to be very useful. First, I need to get Ichinose to sit down on his bed before he falls over. I started to wonder if he could manage to change his clothes on his own, but that's not something a master should worry would think about. So I'd figured it best to end this sooner rather than later. What's up? What's up, bud? Just as I was about to leave the room, Ichinose called out to me. Huh? Oh, what? Good night. Night. Right. Good night, Ichinose. That was a simple one. Okay. When I went out into the hall, I bumped into Mr. Mizuguchi. Oh, Mr. Mizuguchi. My, doing some night crawling. I thought I heard some footsteps coming from Ichinose's room. But no. Oh, I just. But wasn't Ichinose sleeping? If you need something, I can. No, he was up. Huh? Ichinose was up this late? Yeah, it's not like I really needed anything. I just stopped by to hang out. He seems really tired, though. Does he normally go to bed early? It's less that he goes to bed early and more. Every day he wakes up the rising sun and retires with the setting sun like a plant. I suppose he was up at his usual time this morning. Is he secretly a plant? What? It's the middle of the night right now. Yeah, it is the middle of the night right now, isn't it? Surely he just wanted to see your face a bit longer, young master. Aww. That's adorable. That's actually really adorable. Right, he said he wanted to stay up until I was went to bed. Something about that is kind of embarrassing. I appreciate the sentiment, but that can't be good for his health. Would you tell him he can go to bed when he normally does? Certainly, you are a truly kind young master. Not really, just finding out that I'm making him do that feels kind of bad, and I'm kind of worried and all. Why is everyone in this mansion so... Night. Indeed, good night, young master. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Mr. Mizuguchi. I love it. Anyways, um, that's going to go ahead and be the end of this episode here. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Ishino seems adorable in his own special way, like all of them do. Um, kind of. Like, Sakuma's kind of adorable. Kameen, I'm sorry, I hate Kameen. I, I went on Kameen's route and I was just like, uh, I hate you. <laughs> it was auto just made me cry. But anyways, guys, yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode. I'm not too sure when the next video is going to get out again. Um... 
right now all I'm doing is recording videos when I actually get the motivation to and my mind is in total clusterfuck. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video when it comes out. Kia Tsubaka, out.